data analysis and measurement uncertainty. This lab has two parts. In the first part of the lab, you are going to be working through some data sets and looking how uncertainties in those data can change as you are combining measurements or as those measurements are continuing to extrapolate through your data. So that is going to be a provided data set or a generated data set, uh, not doing it from an experiment. So kind of working through the math exercises. In the second part of the lab, you're going to be filming on one of our cameras again, a ball rolling down a ramp and then continuing to roll across a level track. You are then going to import that video into Logger Pro and analyze that motion along the x-axis or in the x-direction and trying to figure out how best to model the motion of the ball. Two tricks in Logger Pro that can be helpful when doing that analysis. The first is movie synchronization. That allows you to tell Logger Pro which frame is t equals zero. So if you start filming and then futz for a minute and then start the ball rolling, you can tell Logger Pro when I let go of the ball is t equals zero. And that's when it will be for your analysis. The other thing you can do in Logger Pro is set origin. Logger Pro naturally thinks the bottom left corner of the video is x equals zero, y equals zero. But you can redefine that with set origin and place anywhere, like the bottom corner of the ramp, to be y equals zero, x equals zero. More importantly than where zero, zero is, is it allows you to rotate your axes. So you can define that this point is zero and along the length of the track is defining the x-axis. So if you weren't holding the camera perfectly straight, we can adjust that after the fact in Logger Pro. Now, to be clear and make sure you don't get sloppy, we can adjust rotating the camera. We cannot adjust tipping the camera. The plane of motion needs to be held, but we can rotate that plane around the video. Thank you for watching this video. Here's the fact for this week. The speed of light was measured for the last time in 1982. It was at that point that it was made a universal constant. That's because the error bars on measuring the speed of light were smaller than the error bars on defining the meter.